from it. We try to go into different topics, you can't do it. There's the a goddamn missiles is about to start flying. The scriptures is on the structure, bro. If we don't even get to choose what we teach, teach boys in my head. Excuse me, do you know that America is about to be destroyed? Yup. You believe in the Bible? You know what th thermonuclear is? That's in the scripture. It's planes right there, son. <laughs> planes. Shit. When the Lord give me that power, I'm snatching that bitch up. She looks good too. Let me get this. Real quick. Uh, Psalms 139 and 19. Oh, actually. No, that's right. Psalms 139 and 19. Surely thou will slay the wicked, O God. Depart from me, therefore, ye bloody men. For they speak against thee wickedly, and thine enemies take they take thy name in vain. Because <laughs> everybody mocks the Lord. Uh, you know what I mean? They make fun of it. The Bible don't exist. It's a joke. You know what I'm saying? You got faggots like, uh, what's that, Neil Tyson Degrassi, whatever his name. You got that new show Cosmos out. Oh, yeah. I saw that show. So everybody think they're a scientist because they watch. Here it is. He's, like a you ask somebody. If they believe in the Bible, they'll, I, they'll, they'll tell you, no, I believe in science. But they don't know shit about science. They don't know They don't know what the scientific method is. They don't know what the word science means. You know what I'm saying? They've never studied the the, the, the table of elements, you know, the periodic yeah, table right, of this, elements. This, this present science is only set up to the Bible. Right, well, right. Well, actually... Well, yeah, well, a lot of the top heads, but you got a lot of scientists that believe in the Most High. You know what I mean? And who's coming out, because the Lord getting that truth, we in the age of truth, man. So you, you do got a lot of people, scientists coming out against evolution, but they're gonna shut them up. They ain't gonna put them on TV, you know what I mean? He said, uh, for they speak against thee wickedly, and thine enemies take thy name in vain. Do I not hate them, O Lord, that hate thee? Right. And am not I grieved with those that rise up against thee? I hate them with a perfect hatred. That's right. I count them mine enemies. Is that a, is that a right thing speaking? That's King David. That's a right thing. King David was most I love him. And the one you call Jesus was called the son of da uh, the son of David. Woo. Yeah, they, they called him the son of David. That's right. You know what I mean? That's right. He said, "Search me, O God." And know my heart. That's why I said I was gonna get a heart scripture. Right well, that's his heart. That's, that's how right. we feel in that's our heart. Right there. You that's know bad. what I mean? That's bad right there. Search me, oh God, and know my heart. Well, Try me. Right. You want to know our heart, right? And know my thoughts. <laughs> our thoughts. Prince right. Harry. You want to hear what we talk about every day? That's the perfect scripture. Perfect. You want to hear like our? Harry, you want to hear our conversations when we're not out here teaching? That's the perfect script. Yeah, we just talking. We just talking about the same shit we talk about out here. <laughs> what we talking about here is no different than the shit we talk about when we at home. Mm -hmm. Same thing. Mm -hmm. So Harry, man, if we had enough, yeah, we should make videos all. I wish I could make videos all day. As far as I'm concerned, I'm not looking to get up out of this spirit. No, I'm no. not looking all. Am I thinking? Am I going crazy? Nah. I don't woke up and realize I'm not going crazy. Right. You yeah. know, I don't, I don't, now I see who's crazy. Yeah, these people are crazy. <laughs> they're know? like, they're lunatics. Now I see who's crazy. Cause all these people are on drugs. They're a bunch of drug addicts. Right. I'll go ahead. Malachi 4 1. For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven. Oh, that day is coming, is going. That's why they said, Ukraine just said that Russia has 100,000 troops on their border. Do you know where Ukraine is? No. These people don't know what the fuck Ukraine is. Ukraine, ain't that what helped lift things up? To help yeah, the yeah, that crane. <laughs> uh, a crane? Yeah, what's that, a crane? <laughs> is that like a U-turn, but a crane? <laughs> right. Is that a sign that I just see? Right, right. Yeah, they just had a... Uh, yep. As the Messiah. That's right, bro. All right, how it look? He said hallelujah. <laughs> hey, but hallelujah, that's Hebrew. He, he's speaking that's Hebrew. Sure, sure he yeah, just came by speaking Hebrew at us. The hallelujah, it, it means praise Yah. Yah is short 
for the most high, Yahweh. Okay? Yeah, say that. Uh, hey, and what's also, because he asked you if you believe in Jesus, because he don't know that the Lord's name is actually Yahweh Shai. And proof that the Lord's name does not start with J is the word hallelujah. Okay? It's hallelujah, not hallelujah. Okay? <laughs> Did that cut that? What's that? Oh yeah, we can read that over and over. Malachi four one. For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven, and all the proud, yea, and all that do wickedly shall be stubble. So all these proud ass people walk around. They got all that money. They got all this money in the bank. They better, they better, they better get fucked up. Oh, you see, you got uh, cause soon ain't gonna be no money in the bank. They gonna be bank runs. You see, people was panicking in China. They was doing bank runs in China. Yep. And, and it, as soon as there's going to be bank runs here in America. Bank holiday. And, and your pride is going to diminish. Yep. Hey, read that again. Malachi 4 and 1. For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven, and all the proud, Blame. yea, and all that do wickedly shall be stubble. So if you ain't right with the most high, you're just going to get burned up. That's all there is to it. You're going to get burned up, and you're going to fucking die. All right? In the story. Hey, bring a star to my face here. And the day that cometh shall burn them up, says the Lord of and, hosts. And uh, what, what's and it's really he's read the scripture said that every, everything's gonna melt mm. with fervent heat. Mm. How, 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 do, how do you make cities melt? There's only one way, that's with a thermonuclear missile. A thermonuclear missile. It was just in the news today. They was it, the talk of nukes is all. They, they actually discussing a small scale nuclear war right now. And they're talking about it publicly saying, well, maybe should, we should shoot nukes small on Russia. Scale, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Well, it wouldn't be so bad if we just yeah. shot a, a couple nukes, yeah. just a couple strategic nukes. They give it a fancy war to a strategically placed nuke, uh, right. you know. Right. Man, right. as soon as the nuke starts flying, that's it. That's right. over. Right. Courtesy of Russia. Yeah. That's over. Courtesy of Russia. Yeah, one nuke flash. Y'all know the nukes are coming? You know the nukes are coming, right? You're gonna be about to be raining nukes. I'm gonna get Putin. I'm gonna get Putin. Putin. At least an hour break in the kingdom. Right? Oh, yeah, he gonna get <laughs> Thank you, motherfucker. Right, he get his ring, you know what I mean? So you can go sit in that pit for an hour. <laughs> <laughs> with, that, with that giant scorpion. <laughs> one man, you know. Right. You know. Right. That was the last year, though. Maybe like 2,000 days, though. Yeah. Okay, you know Putin. He, uh, you know, behind closed doors, that dude's mean as can be. You know, he probably just murdering people. Anybody that don't agree with him, you get put to death. Okay, that dude ain't fucking around, man. He's a guy. He rules with an iron fist, and he ain't fucking around. You know he wants to use them. Yeah. Oh, he shit. You no, know he wants to use them. He's going to use them missiles. Damn right. You know. But you even got Americans too. The Americans, a lot of them, uh. Them gung-ho Republicans, they want to shoot the missiles too. Yeah, they're bloodthirsty. Yeah, they, yeah, yeah. They can't wait to shoot the missiles because yeah. you know. That's why Obama firing a lot of them motherfuckers because he putting those, those trigger happy motherfuckers in there, yep. firing all those missile uh, 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 captains or whatever you want to call yeah. them. That's uh, in control of all the, all the silos. silos yeah. Yeah. He got rid of all. He get rid of all. Yeah, all kind of people man. getting fired from their mm -hmm. uh, watches. Yeah. He getting he getting them out of there and putting new people in there. Yeah. Like oh that. yeah. Because if they got anybody. In the military, he's talking about, oh, they're going to keep the Constitution and follow the Constitution. They're getting kicked the fuck out. <laughs> yeah. so they say, the hell with Get your out of here. Yeah, you ain't saving no Constitution. That shit's been gone. That shit was gone long before I was even born. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, really, it, the Constitution was done away with way before I was even, before my parents were born. You know? That shit's a goddamn joke. Okay? It's a fucking joke. Yeah, the Constitution was in it after the Civil War, pretty much. Dumb motherfuckers. Goddamn Constitution. Well, here you go, bro. This is Jeremiah 9 and, um, I'm gonna start at 6. Thy habitation is in the midst of deceit. Oh, you see, all my father's like them hillbillies. You, you ever listen to Alex Jones, he'll have a hillbilly calling? My brother, I'm gonna stand tall and defend the Constitution. <laughs> oh shit, that's coming. They always talking about they gonna stand tall and defend the Constitution. You know who go harder than Miles? Make Alex Jones like a fool. Uh, Rinse, uh, Rinse. Um, I listen to Jeff Rinse every Jeff day. Rinse, Jeff Rinse, Jeff yeah. Rinse. I listen to Jeff Rinse every day. Yeah, yeah. That's my favorite radio show. Jeff Rinse brings out some good shit too. 
Because he go into everything. He'll go into UFOs. Everything. Even if he don't agree with it, he'll go into it. You know what I yep, mean? Yep, yep. He go, he has some great. But y'all know one thing about Jeff French, you got to respect, is he hates you motherfucking so-called Jews. Okay? That's my shit, Jeff French. Yeah, he, he be exposing shit. the shit out of them goddamn devils, right, man. Right, right, right. There you go. Oh, go ahead. Thy habitation is in the midst of deceit. Through deceit, they refuse to know me, said the Lord. Therefore, thus said the Lord of hosts, Behold, I will melt them and try them, for how shall... How you get melted, yeah. For how shall I do for the daughter of my people? Yeah. <laughs> Let me keep on reading. Yeah, okay, that's probably fine. Some more in there. Because of the Bible, it, it's, very, it's not a dull moment. You know what I mean? There, you know, this, Oh, that's, a, that's not a pretty future for these wicked motherfuckers, man. When the Lord is saying he gonna melt somebody, man. When you ever read some shit like that in the Quran? Put some butter on the Yeah, skin. where you ever read anything in the Quran that went as hard as that? Hey. The Quran. Hey. Yeah, there's no other book out there that goes that speaks this in this manner. If I got constipation, I don't read the Bible. Oh, you mean the Quran? Yeah, yeah. I mean read the Quran. <laughs> yeah, that's Satan. Oh yeah, that's Satan. Oh yeah, Satan. That's Satan. Satan. And there's a scripture that says that when a man. I'm gonna see if I can find that. Woo! I was just thinking. That's Satan in the midst of this man. That's exactly. Well, that happens all the time. Right. That's toilet what. Paper. That's what. If I'm constipated, I read the motherfucking Quran. Oh, the fucking toilet yep, paper. It loosens that shit up. I'm you know what I'm saying? Ain't no motherfucking prophecies in no fucking. Uh, 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 unholy Quran. That one Quran uh, scripture says that uh, it speaks of Muhammad. Oh yeah, they call them be like pearls. Call, or something. Calls them pearls. Uh, we'll have handsome youth. It says we'll have handsome youth serving. Well, you know, you, you know the you know the Quran is going off. Obviously, because they say Muhammad is the last prophet. When the, when the Bible says we're all prophets and we all must prophesy. That's in the New Testament. That's in 1 Corinthians, the 14th chapter. It says ye all must prophesy. So if we're all prophets, how the hell can Muhammad be the last prophet? That don't make no goddamn sense. Last prophet. Right there. Right. Yeah, he wasn't even a prophet in the first book. Yeah, he wasn't even a prophet to begin with. It was nothing holy about the son of a bitch. What, what did he prophesy? Damn. What prophecies in the Quran came true? No. Any, any prophecy that that so called, so called, thought I seen was from the, from these scriptures. The blood moon. They got that shit. Oh, they the still, world. half of it's thrown from the Bible. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They, they copy half the Bible, twist it around, add some shit, take some shit out. You know what I mean? That's the Quran. When the hell would you want to go with the Quran anyway? That shit's fucking brand new. Yeah, it, it only dates to like 800 BC. That's what I'm saying. I mean, AD, AD, yeah. 800 AD. So, 800 years after the Bible. Okay, you know what I'm saying? so Almost the Bible. A years. Yeah, the Bible's ancient. Okay, this is ancient, oh, son. This first. Yeah, this is way before anything. This is ancient. I mean, 2,000 years, that's a long time, really. Cause the Lord was living during the time of the Roman Empire. That was a long time ago. What's up? You know America's about to be destroyed? You from Israel? Yeah, we from Israel. Why, you from Israel? Huh? Flame, flame. Okay, here, what'd you say? Middle East, you know what I'm speaking? You from the Middle East? Yeah. Oh, for real? Why, you a... What's up? You a Israel. Why, you a... What are you, a Palestinian? No, 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 no. I don't like Palestinians. You don't like Palestinians? I'm Egyptian. You know the oh, people? you're Egyptian? Yeah. But you're the same people as the Palestinians. You know, it's a big difference. They're all Arabic. You speak the same language, but it's a big difference. Wow, what kind of difference? Do you, do you know, do you know that, that real Israelites, first of all, give me Revelation 2 or 9. What do you, how do you feel about the Jews living in Israel? What do you think I about them? Know. Do you like them? Jews and Arab. You don't get together. Well, don't get together. I know they're supposed to. We know this. Why? It's not meant to. Yeah. Why? But they're devils anyway. Well, the Lord separated the nations. No, I'm not talking about religion. I'm talking about the world. Well, well, that's all together. It's all one. Yeah. Because those Jews are a bunch of devils. They're a bunch of homosexuals. They worship Satan. Okay. Uh, they, they, they worship Satan behind closed doors. But in the front, they fool the people thinking they're. 
biblical people, but they're, they're not the biblical they, people. They oppress the power. This is the Bible, the right. Holy Bible. So that you Christian and his Jews. No, we're Hebrew Israelites. That's the Bible, Bible. Right, we're Hebrew Israelites. We're Israelites. Yeah. Read the Bible, the book people of the Bible are Israelites. Read the Bible, scripture to them. You know? Yeah, let me tell you something. No, no, Revelation. Oh, one second. This is let me finish. Well, that's why we out here. Let me finish you know? what he has to say real quick. Yeah. Go ahead. Well, I, let me explain for you. you. You're from the States, right? Yeah, man. Originally, I'm from yeah. Israel. My, my father, Abraham. Yeah. Jewish and Arab, they don't get together because they, there is a war between each other for almost 60 years, maybe because 70 years, because they're fighting about land. They're fighting about, about land. If you study the history, but the Jews stole that land. To me, please. If you study the history, I know the history from, very well. Yeah, Israel from long time it was small like this. I know. They other day they getting bigger, 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 bigger. They got big money. They got good army. They fight with the Muslim people. They get. They other day they, they they're fun. They're funded by American taxpayers. Brother, Israel is. They other day they they kill Muslim people for fun. Not for fun. They do it for, they fun. Do it for fun. They do it for fun. Yeah. For they have a point because, system. Yeah. Oh, so nobody can fix all the problems. If you wanna, if, if you can fix this problem, go ahead. Well, listen. I travel to Israel. <laughs> Read the scripture. First of all, the people in Israel don't belong there because they're not the real people. They're not. They're not Jews. And the Arabs that are there don't belong there because the Arabs are not the chosen race. What is king like that? <laughs> Let's come okay, back. Great. <laughs> speaking so I can hear you. So you can hear him, I mean. I, I can I'm speaking to you like a man. Yeah. Let, let, I'm to, read the scripture. I'm yeah. let, let the scripture speak. Revelations 2 and 9. I know thou works and tribulations and poverty. Are the, are the Jews poor? No, they're all they're the richest. The Jews are the richest people in the world. The so-called Jews, they're not really Jews. They, they own all the banks. They control Hollywood. I know. They own yeah. CNN, uh, they, all, they all the news the, channels. The whole media. Channels. They own everything. Yeah. Well, listen, listen, listen. Read that. Revelations 2 and 9. I know thou works and tribulations and poverty. That's us, the real Israelites. But thou art rich. We're the real Jews. Keep going. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. So those so-called Jews over there in Israel, they're not the real Jews. Tomorrow, you will be here tomorrow, I'll bring my Bible for you. I'll read some Bible. We, we, got, we got all kind of Bibles. I got a Bible. You got Quran? Yeah, for toilet paper. I keep a bottle of toilet when I got to take a shit. I wipe my ass with it. Really? Yeah, I wipe my ass with it. You keep it nice and, it, it's nice and to, clean. It's toilet paper. You keep That's it what it is. Nice it's nice terrible for that. <laughs> well, do you believe in Muhammad? What? The, do you believe Muhammad was the last prophet? My name is Muhammad. Well, okay, but listen, Muhammad. Hey, get get First Corinthians fourteen. No, I no, quoted. No, no, no. Give him no. the book, man. Let him wipe his ass. No, this is the Holy Bible. I'm good, man. I have to catch the bus, bro. Thank you, you're good. You're good. You're doing good. Take care of him, bro. Yeah, yeah man. It, it's over it's for good. you, bro. Just, you know. Shave your beard and your mustache, you would be. Well, if Muhammad, it's a manly thing to you ain't got no bomb on you. You ain't it's gonna try to blow us up, are you? Yeah, you, yeah, see, you yeah. Al Qaeda boy. You, you ain't no real, you ain't no you real Muslim. You have a good day. A real Muslim grow his beard. You have a good day. Right. Shine off. So the what? Let me get a hug. See, he talking shit about foreigners and shit. He's a goddamn Arab. He yelling a Moab like right, he's right, something. Right. He said, China, let me he's get a hug. Air bomb down here hanging out at OSU. A right heathen wants boy. a hug from another heathen. Just left his boyfriend Esau. Came over with a weird spirit. Right. At, like, come on, do you know the history? Motherfucker. Like you can't <laughs> hey, assault with a fool. Yeah, well, hey, man, hey. He, 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 he can barely speak English. He, he, the spirit, I hit that sound. Right. He came over with the fool and with the Muhammad. Y'all know America's about to be destroyed? Thermonuclear destruction. The missiles, it's about to rain missiles. Courtesy of Russia. I just like to give people some food for thought, you know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah, because they had no clue, man. These motherfuckers are home wa watching their favorite TV show. They don't ever watch the news, never touch it. Right, right. Ever. If, if you listen to talk radio, they look at you like you're stupid. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, what the fuck? You listen to the radio? This ain't 1930. You know, you know what I mean? Okay. That's what they say. So, yeah, because if, you, if, you're, if you're any kind of if you're informed or educated, people look at you like you're weird or something. 
way. If you if you mention, oh, I'm studying. Ew. He's weird. Yeah, he's a lame. I smoke blunts and slap bitches. Okay. Oh, now I'm a cool guy. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's bad. <laughs> you got so you gotta say some foolish shit for people to for pe people to want to be down with you. You know what I mean? So that's why that's why we cuss a lot and talk shit. That's the only way to understand us. You gotta speak that language. You can't come out here speaking a foreign language to a bunch of hyenas. These people are goddamn hyenas, man. That's what they are. They're, they're liking them to hyenas. <laughs> wow, no jackal. Hey, the scripture call them jackals, don't it? No exaggeration. Isn't there a scripture call them jackals? I believe. I could be wrong. Damn vipers. Vipers. Oh, they definitely snakes and vipers. Here you go. Uh, this is 2nd Ezra 16 and 1. Woe be unto thee, Babylon and Asia. Woe be unto thee, Egypt and Syria. Gird up yourselves with clouds of sack and hair. Beware your children and be sorry. For your destruction is at hand. That's what we be saying all the time. Your destruction is at hand. Ain't nobody listen to a goddamn thing we're saying. <laughs> hey, you know what I mean? They just walking, texting. It's amazing, man. Y'all know uh, God's about to destroy America by fire. Actually, They're probably about to go do some sacrifices. Yep. How, how the Yo, filthy ass right God, now? America. That's probably some of them, I, them, them. That's the type of people right there to worship Satan. They look like the regular. They look like the regular honest, happy-looking family. Yeah, they walk in, you know, well-spoken. But when they go home, they got a goddamn dungeon in their basement with children in it. <laughs> oh, that we watch on X Files. Not only X Files, people will say, "Oh, X Files ain't real." Everything <laughs> in X Files is based on real life, man. Okay. Show, it, it, that yeah. show even predicted show. the attacks on 9/11. Yeah. It what, before it happened, the attacks on 9/11 was mentioned in X Files. Mm. But uh. I see some more uh, X Files too, where they was getting all these stories from the news. Oh there. yeah, they do. What I even heard the CIA came at it. But it uh, but we was watching that episode of the X Files, and they said that this the satanic cult members. Uh, and I've heard this other place. I've heard actual devil worshippers on YouTube talk about it. And I've heard uh, different researchers on Coast to Coast and other shows talk about it. I've heard many people mention this. And they say uh, in, in these satanic cults, which are everywhere in every neighborhood, they're, they're, not, they're not rare whatsoever. They're everywhere. Very widespread. <laughs> they'll, they'll, have a, uh, they'll, they'll pick out one woman or a young woman in their group and they'll call her the breeder. And her job is she gets raped by everybody. Everybody rapes her, and then she gets pregnant, and then she'll have the baby. They don't tell anybody. She don't go to the hospital. They have the baby in private, then they sacrifice the baby so nobody knows about it. And they call her the breeder, and she'll have more than one baby that'll keep sacrificing her. She probably gets special privileges in society. You know, oh, yeah. Like, we'll take care of the whole kind of So that, it's out there, man. That nigga can get slaughtered. Yeah, it is, man. Most, it, 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 mo mold over. most people is just hopeless, okay? <laughs> it is, for most people, there's no hope. Even though we out here teaching hope, mm -hmm. but there's, the hope is only for a few. Right, right, right. I'm trying to think of where that is, that. where it tells you that some people just reserved to destruction. Oh, that's that Peter. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Peter says they reserved unto the great judgment. Reserved. You know, they, no matter what happens to them, they, and they on the, they, these motherfuckers are not leaving this planet until the nuclear missiles go. They got reservations, boy, for that big party. <laughs> no matter how many strokes and heart attacks they have, they get no matter how many times they get shot, you know what I'm saying, no matter what happens. And that brings to mind one of my older brothers, a wicked motherfucker, he got shot up so many times, so much shit happened to this piece of trash, man. He should have been dead, man. Child molester, he's a child molester too. Oh. Should have been dead, man, but the most high just saving this piece of garbage. Yeah, the most high. Yeah. A, a guillotine or a nuclear missile. There's a lot of wicked people that live to be very old. Like Rockefeller. That guy, that one of the Rockefellers is 90 something. George Bush Sr. Everybody knows the Bushes are evil. Shoot, they probably got royal Everybody. Yeah. 
They old as fuck. Yeah. Can't even walk. <laughs> they got them hooked up with two to the computers and shit. Because that age yeah, don't. Oh, that dead motherfucker. He should have been but dead. It, oh, yeah. The scientist Hawkins. That oh, Stephen Hawkins. Computer talking. They, they, he going to be the first Transformer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Watch this. I got a scripture. Uh, it's a St. Luke 13 and 23. And this is the disciples, I think, uh, was asking a question. It said, This said one unto him, Lord, are there few that be saved? And he said unto them, Strive to enter in at the straight gate. For many I say unto you, will seek to enter in and shall not be able. I mean, that's the point. You know what I'm saying? Shoo, shoo, many shall try to come in, but few shall be able. <laughs> yeah, when you think about it, too, the prophecy got to be fulfilled. Oh, yeah. So, two thirds and wicked motherfuckers. They got to be born. There ain't no changing it. Like people trying to say, we're going to save America. First of all, save what? This shit right. was never, right. Right. this shit was never lovely to begin with. You gonna say something that the most high already he sanctioned the Who is America ever good for? Oil tycoons? Yeah. Plantation owners? Right. Still. People who have monopolies? Yeah. It was it was Oh yeah, still Carnegie? Yeah. For the big uh for the big corporations, that's only Yeah, that's it. That's America only benefited the rich. That that was that was what it was all about from the beginning. That's why America's called a capitalist nation. Okay? Right. It's all about money. That's it. That's all they care about is money. Here you go, bro. Uh, this is uh, this is Romans 11 and 7. What then? Israel hath not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the right. election hath obtained it, and right. the rest were blinded. Right. So, yeah, most of our own people, like we said earlier, how we wish death on two-thirds of Israel. Of our own people, we wish they die. Well, we pray they die, and they will die. That's right. But, uh... Hey, read that again, man. Some Something same slipped same. my mind. Right. What then? Israel hath not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election hath obtained All it. right, so the Lord's only dealing with a, uh, a small number. Okay. That's why the scriptures say love not the world. You ain't supposed to be part of this world, part of this filth. That's right. Yeah, this, this, this shit out here, this is filth. She is, she is filth. Yeah, this is pollution, this is filth, man. And the rest were blinded, according as it is written. Yahweh have given them the spirit of slumber, eyes that they should not see, and ears that they should not hear unto this day. Yeah, because you, you can uh, read these people a thousand scriptures. You can give them all the proof in the world that what we're saying is true. They still ain't going to get it. You know what I mean? They'll still deny it. It was one, it won't put in their spirit for them to understand it. Most people are just retarded. That's all there is to it. There's no other way to explain it. You got something you want to bring out? I got a script for you if you don't have one. What's that script for old foolish and unwise people? Uh, Oh, I'm trying to remember. I get Jeremiah 4. I haven't read that in a while. I'm going to scripture where he said that people were the wicked are strange as soon as they That's Psalms 130. No, that's Psalms 50 something. Uh, Psalms 52 or. Hold on, I'll find it for you real quick. I got some. I'll go ahead. Job 12 and 16. Um, Job 12 and 16. Um, with him is strength and wisdom. The deceived and the deceiver are his. So these people that are, I mean, you know, simple self-explanatory. The deceived who, was, who the Lord blinded that I read in, uh, in uh, Romans, the Lord blinded these fools. So he, he wants these fools to be deceived. They rejected the Lord when he was walking, so hey, he gonna reject them now. You know? 
Hell, the deceiver too, Esau. I got it. The blue, the most oh, high yeah, control, we're, Esau we're too, the deceiver. Yeah. Oh, 58, yeah, I knew it was 57. Yeah, because uh, 55 is real good too. All right, they're all good. If you can go back to 55, that's going to the same What you mean? Uh, Psalms 58 and three. That's a wicked old strength. The wicked are estranged from the womb. They go astray as soon as they be born. Little baby devils. Speaking lies. Oh, that proves that people try to say that little children are now born evil. <laughs> that's, a, that's a lie. There's all kind of evil little children running around. It, you know what I'm saying? Torturing other children. Torturing, they torture animals. Pimps While we shit. was talking about this last week, uh, two shit. weeks ago. Yeah. Like yeah. the good son type of, like the uh, little, like, yeah, yeah, like little, eat, little evil Edomites. Y'all know America's about to be destroyed. What up, Hollis? According to the prophecies of the Holy Bible, America's about to be burnt with fire. Your precious America. Yeah, because you all these, it's a punishment for being a faggot. It's a punishment for committing adultery. Okay, for oppression, oppressing the children of Israel. Psalms 58 and 3. The wicked are astray from the womb. They go astray as soon as they be born. Speaking lies. Some of these devils are born, they speaking lies. Their poison is like the poison of a serpent. Bag they it. are like the deaf adder that stoppeth her ear. That's a fork-tongued serpent. That's what it's talking about. That's why the North American Indian called the white man a fork-tongued serpent. They called him the serpent. You know America's about to be destroyed while you're walking around all proud. Go ahead. Which will not hearken to the voice of charmers, charming members so wisely. All right. Yeah, because you, you can't charm these things. Listen, look, look at that raggedy shit. Shit was scraping. Everybody laughing at their ass. You see that? <laughs> I heard it. <laughs> Fuck. That bit, our whole crowd of bitch laughed at their raggedy car. That's funny. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, my fuck go ahead. That shit was kind of funny. This is going back on to how how we feel. Pretty much. I'll go ahead. Psalms 58 and 6. Break their teeth, oh God, in their mouth. Break out the great teeth of the young lions, oh Lord. Yeah, the teeth? Hold on. That teeth represents the power, the, the military, all right? The teeth represents, because we can't do shit right now, because you got a lot of, because you got a lot of people who know the Israelites out there teaching, and they're teaching that we all got to get together so we can form an army and go battle the government. Stay away from motherfuckers like that. They're going to get you killed and locked up. Okay, that's what's gonna happen. Fucking with and listening to somebody like that, because the Lord is gonna break out the teeth. Okay, which means the Lord, for us to do anything, the Lord gonna take out the military. You can't fight against the army of robots and drones. Okay, they coming too. And that yeah, we, they coming man. They got robots. They got drones. They have 13 aircraft carriers. They got uh, motherfucking jet fighters, lasers. tanks, lasers. So you gonna go space. Stage a revolution and fight against that. Right, how are you gonna fight against something they got guns that shoot? You can't even see what it's shooting out. Shit. You can't see what it's shooting out, but you're gonna feel it. I seen somebody that claimed he was with GMS teaching it. Did you see that video? Which one? This dude, he had long hair too. And he was teaching that guy, we gotta have a bloody revolution. Wow. So he was acting like he was, I was like, this wow. dude ain't GMS. Right, right, right. They know it could, like I said, a motherfucker like that, probably an Asian provocateur. Mm -hmm. I saw that, I saw some bugs out niggas. He had long hair, he had dreads. You know what I mean? Or, uh, yeah, but, yeah no, he had long braids. Now he had dreads. This one had dreads. And uh, he was pushing some bugged out shit. I ain't listened to it though. Yeah, that's like that. Uh, that What's well, like that? Wasn't that a prophet Yahweh? It's not prophet Yahweh. Something, man. But years ago, there was some Israelite groups. They got caught with all kind of weapons and shit. Mm -hmm. And they got mm -hmm. locked up. Right. Uh, no cool. Ain't no revolution. Right. You ain't gonna have no goddamn. Be this ain't no motherfucking no public enemy. Some shit. revolution. Yeah, you know, a revolution go fight against. Hey, actually, I'm gonna get a scripture to prove that's, that's what I'm talking bitch. about. Because some people, because some people might say that's some faggot shit. And by all oh, y'all ain't going hard then. First, as far as I'm concerned, the scripture says the Lord said to wait upon Him. You know what I mean? I can get that too. That's a carnal let mind. Let yeah. me this that's not a spiritual way. mind yeah. thinking like that. Psalms 50, Psalms 58 and 8. As a snail which melteth, mm, what? let every one of them pass away. 
like the untimely birth of a woman that they may not see the sun. Yeah, we gonna, yeah, Esau gonna be like a snail. We're gonna be pouring salt on his ass. Watching him shrivel up like, ha <laughs> Look at his ass so shrivel when I was, up. So when I was a kid, <laughs> we, yeah, we putting gonna be, salt on snails, that was ancient knowledge that I was going, they didn't even know it. Yeah, yeah. We, <laughs> but we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna laugh at his ass. Just like this. <laughs> hey, let me read this real quick. Uh, Ephesians, this is the back of the point I was just made. When you got people want to get physical because they want to kill people, they want to actually, we wish people died, but we ain't killing nobody. Okay, we, we praying people, the most high jacks them up. We ain't telling nobody to go kill people. Say, or to vicious, just stone you. First, then we're going to say for those hunters. Yeah, we're not telling people to kill their adulterous wife. Just pray to the most high, kill that bitch. Don't kill nobody. You know what I'm saying? You ain't supposed to be getting physical like that. Because that, that means that you have a carnal mind. And that you ain't right. That's what that means. That's exactly. Ephesians 6. Uh, Ephesians uh, 6 and 12. For, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities. That's it right there. What does it say? We wrestle not against flesh and blood. Because the spirit fucks somebody up more than killing them does. We can kill, well, so we went and killed a bunch of Edomites today. We, you know what I'm saying? Put them all to death. That ain't gonna do nothing. We're gonna get locked up. That's what's gonna happen. They're gonna lock us up and kill us. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But the scriptures say, wrestle not against flesh and blood. Excuse me. It says, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood. But like I said, when we come out here and we hit these devils with the truth, that fucks them up worse than the uh, chopping their head off does. It sure does. You know what I mean? Here you go, bro. Uh, uh, let me read the rest of it just oh, real back, quick. Back, just just ahead, real back, quick. Back. For, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, which are spirits, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. So we battling with spiritual forces, spiritual. not physical. Demons. Oh, go ahead. Demons. Um, this helps go with the, uh, with, uh, you know, ain't no revolution. Shit, you gotta use the bathroom. Um, He's holding his butt. I can't even go nowhere. Um, oh, go ahead. He, my son got to use the bathroom. I got, well, I don't even know where one is. I don't even. You go, man. Eddie George is coming. I don't know if I want to go in there. I don't think he's old enough to go in there. Oh, know. yeah. Hey, look, 12 and 36. He got kicked out of the coffee place. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, he good. Make him hold that shit in. You better hold that shit. And ye yourself like unto men that wait for the Lord when he will return from the wedding, that when he cometh and knocketh, they may open unto him immediately. So that helps cut. That's one trip to help cut that revolution bullshit. Uh, here's another one, uh, Zephaniah 3 and 8. I mean, man, if someone was attacking you, I mean, you can shoot back. I mean, ain't nothing wrong with that. But you ain't supposed to be stacking up arms, plotting against the government. Man, you ain't gonna succeed doing nothing, man. You gonna get fucked up. Right, right, right. But you got I'm people to say we're weak man. for that, though. People will say we're weak for that, you know? That's the most bad Jacobs and his men to get blessed with that shit. That's Esau's blessing. Cause they, back to the earth. Right, that. that's Esau's dad, because he, all he cares about is the physical world. Well, most so, not gonna keep, I mean, these wicked motherfuckers off the prison left anyway. Yeah. You know? And he will give you a little taste of honey anyway. The Lord, if somebody come up and they want to act stupid and push something on one of them. Like something that has happened out here. And, uh, and they got the shit knocked out of them. Like when guy hit dude, oh, yeah. knocked the shit out of him for calling my fucking man. And dude called a cop. Like when guy hit the up, the white dude. Oh, that just called a cop, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But ain't what happened. Most I kept the cops off of us, you know. Yeah. And ain't shit happened, you know. Most, like I said, most I give you a little, a little taste. Yeah, everyone. He does give some people a little taste. I mean, I'll believe me. If you're not carnal minded. Oh yeah, if you're not carnal minded, then you'll get the taste. Right, then, right. then you'll he, get right. it. Then you'll definitely. get what you wanted. Yep, yeah, that's right, that's right. Here you that's go. A, that's, a, that's a good point. Um, Zephaniah 3 and 8. Therefore, wait ye upon me, said the Lord, until the day that I rise up to the prey. For my determination is to gather the nations 
in the back got, of your And I got another good point too. Is that if you if you are if you're an Israelite out there teaching and you talking about uh, going killing people, I got another good point. Is your army is gonna be small as fuck? Okay, you're gonna have the smallest goddamn army the earth has ever seen. Because first of all, nobody even believes in the Bible. Right. They think you're on some spook shit. Right. All right. So nobody's going to join you. You're going to have about five motherfuckers with that bomb that you got from the FBI. <laughs> and you know what I'm saying? These people sound stupid. Right, right, when you right. really examine these motherfuckers, yeah, they okay. sound stupid, man. Right. Talking about you a sovereign citizen. <laughs> Them people on that bullshit. There's actually people right now preparing, man. They're going to get they, they gonna, think they gonna get busy when it's time pop when the shit pop off. Man. When you watch you watch The Walking Dead, you see what happens with people that have a lot of supplies. They the first ones to get robbed and killed. Yeah. 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 You better not to have nothing. Fucking doomsday preppers and shit. They ain't doing but storing shit for the elect. Yep. That's it. Just storing the shit for the elect, man. All advertised on nationwide television. Hear my shit, you see I got this big ass a whole shelf full of Health, whole shelf full of shit. Whole basement full of shit, man. And there's been people that's been saving up for the last 20, 30 years, man. You got MREs, you got guns, you got ammo, oh you got barrels of rice. Yeah, and barrels. <laughs> they got barrels. barrels. <laughs> and you know, a bag of rice lasts your ass forever. <laughs> can rice can last for years, man. <laughs> Yeah, and we, right. we don't too. go back. We, we, yeah. we yeah. last forever too. Just like when Pharaoh was storing that wheat after he got the, yeah. uh, the, uh, the, the interpretation from the dream. From Joseph. Yeah, yeah. yeah. all that wheat they were storing, man. That, that, that now that, that was a good time because the most I commanded him to do it. That was my oh, that's what people would get you. Really, there, there's really nothing wrong with because you can stack stuff up. You can save stuff up. There's nothing wrong with being smart, but if that's all you're thinking about and having no faith, there's something wrong with you, man. Because some people just have absolutely no faith whatsoever. Absolutely none. Absolutely none. That's why they ain't out here teaching this word. Oh, yeah, exactly. Just, you, the motherfucking preppers ain't out here doing the work. They just too busy prepping. That's some lukewarm motherfuckers. Luke, they always talking about Jesus, too. Lukewarm. Talking about Matthew 24. <laughs> they love to quote Matthew 24. They love it, man. You know what I mean? They, but they don't want to go out and do the work, though. You know what I mean? They, they won't even admit they're Israelite. No. They can't even do that. There's a lot of them motherfuckers. Y'all know America's about to be destroyed by the one you call God. And y'all y'all gonna get burnt the fuck up. Y'all gonna get burnt up too. I hate these proud motherfuckers. I know, man. I just wanna. I hate these proud motherfuckers, man. So you know you wanna kill them, you can't kill nobody. You, you, know, get, you gotta cut them, hit them with the truth. Patience means to suffer too. You know, that's what patience means. And, you know, that's part of being that tried in that fire, man. These mo we can, our minds are getting ready for this time. Bro. Right. You know, even killing somebody, though, that's too, that's too easy and quick of a punishment, yeah. just, just killing someone. Yeah, I'm used to suffering. I've been, I've been patiently suffering my whole fucking entire life, so it's nothing to me. It's fucking nothing. Going to jail, getting locked up, is nothing to me. Well, we in a jail you know right here. Saying? We right. just outside. Right, right. right. You can't you try, try to try to try to get out the country without a passport. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You can't leave the country anyway with child support. Then try to. You can't leave, can't get a America is just like a prison. When you come in here, they inspect you. A prison camp. If you want to get on a plane, they they sticking their fingers in your pants, checking. You know what I mean? Filling your nuts and shit, just like they do in prison. This is right, they do, man. Oh, yeah, this is a whole bad fucking song, too. This whole, and it is. This whole fucking planet Earth is a goddamn slave ship. And they're going to, and the elites trying to make it a legit slave ship by bringing in that chip. You know what I'm saying? They're going to lock this shit down, man. It's going to be a day of Jacob's trouble. It's already locked down. It's, it's hey, going to get hey, even tighter. What? Well, like, like, like I said, the true scriptures refer to it as a day of Jacob's trouble. Yep. And they can't imagine this shit that's coming, man. They can imagine it. There we go. Uh, second Astros, second Astros 4 and 37. By measure hath he measured the times, and by number hath he numbered the times. And he does not move nor stare them until the said measure be fulfilled. Wow, it's, it's like that hourglass. It's like, it's like the most high got an hourglass 
There's only a couple grains left and they couple circling. Couple grains left, yep. They and circling. They, right, and they ain't gonna go one second past the most high. Hey, them angels in the Lord, they gonna be, man, they ain't, they ain't gonna have to tell them, they gonna sense it. <laughs> the most high gonna send them that message through their, you know, in their mind. Bing, bing. It's, oh man, can you imagine how they feeling right now, man? They getting ready to come slow. And there's a scripture they actually get ready I, I to came slow. across where they're up there right now asking them, how long? That's a how revelation. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> hey, how check long? It out. Man, all the angels all through revelation. Oh, man, yeah. they, they're going to like they they tear this place apart, right man. Now, like, how long are you going to seek vengeance? Right, right. Much. You remember when David fucked up and he numbered Israel? Yeah. And the Most High uh, gave him choices? Yeah. And he, um, and, uh, he said, put the plague on Israel. Yeah. And when the Most High sent that angel, and that angel was slaughtering Israel, the Most High had to force that angel to stop. Yep. He had to force the angel to stop. Because that angel, them angels just, man, they, man, they programmed to do the Most High's business, that's just man. Like, hey, get that, get it. That's just like Ezekiel. Hey, we should get Ezekiel. Which one, which one get is Ezekiel? Let uh, Daryl get uh, Ezekiel 9. They, they programmed to destroy these, man, just wait, man. That's just like just that Exodus. Wait. It, mm -hmm. See, that's all through the Bible. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Y'all would love to have your little angel. See, these people, they think an angel is a naked little baby. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's all sweet. With, with, with wings. Yeah, with wings. <laughs> we got blonde hair. Right, uh, right. You know, just nine and, and start at the top. Oh, you can start at four. Yeah, start at four. Okay. Read that loud, too. All right. Ezekiel 9 and 4. And the Lord said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry. So yeah, this Jerusalem is a people before it's a place. Jerusalem is the nation of Israel. That's Zion, all right? That's us. But uh, that's our people, so we got to come out here. We in the midst of Jerusalem right now. Keep going. And set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. That, that's just like what we're talking about, all this abomination, all this filth that, that we've been talking about. So there's other people out here that's just like us, and they feel the same, they hate these fucking faggots, they see how all this uh, devil worshiping is all up in the music and all up in the movies, you Blame. know what I'm saying? They see how these women are running loose like wild animals, and they hate it, you know what I'm saying? Just, wow. like, just like we hate it. So we supposed to put a mark on that brother's forehead. Wow. All right, keep going. And to the others, he said to my hearing, go ye after him through the city and smite. Let not your eyes spare, neither have ye pity. All right, keep going. Slay utterly old and young. Both maids and little children. And the little children got put to death. I can never read the scripture enough. Keep going. And women. So even the women, so this is going to happen again. It's too soon, the, like he said, we putting the marks on people's heads right now. And the people that ain't right, they're going to get put to death. The Lord's going to kill you, your your whole family, your little babies, That's your right. grand, even your grandma's going to get put to death. Old grandma. The old grandma's going to get. It was funny. Everybody know about Solomon and Gomorrah. Right. Who, who, who was in Saul of There was all kind of grandmas up in there. <laughs> all type of kids, grandmas, yeah. women, you know. They all got put to death. They all got destroyed. Thing, that shit must have got so fucked up. Lot's daughters thought they was the only ones on earth. Yep. So that must have been some it, it, destruction. It, was, it had to be mushroom clouds, you know. It had to yeah, be something yeah. terrifying. terrifying. If, they, if they thought they was the only people left, that had to be the most amazing destruction that they had ever seen. Yeah, that, radi yeah, that radiation had to have been intense because Lot's wife is still standing, as, as Paul said. It the hardened. Dried, the dried all that juice it dehydrated her whole entire body, took everything out of her. For her to still be standing there to this day, man, she probably immediately turned up solid rock, man. Immediately, man. So how's that for all your angels is loving and caring, walking around butt fucking naked with wings and shit, talking about I love you, handing out shot and kisses? Then you got Catholics praying to the angels. Right. Just praying to them. Hell, with they don't pray to the Most High or the Lord. They just know? pray to the angels and Mary. Yeah, right, angels, right. Yeah, right. Mary. Mary Guadalupe. That's a the Mary Guadalupe. That's that's the God of the Catholic Church. Uh, Mary. It, it's not the Most High. It's not the Son of the Most High. It's Mary. I wonder if that uh, in the Catholic Church, if Mary is actually uh, what's her name? 
Oh yeah, Sim Rim. Sim Rim. Yeah, that's actually yeah. Sim Rim. Just, that's, when it go from one culture to another, another age to got another. Got a different one. name. Okay. She, right. uh, okay. Yeah, the, the Mary of the Catholic Church is the Queen of Heaven. She has many names. He she's, went into it. How's she's known as Inanna, uh, Isis, yep. Ashera, uh, Ishtar, which that's where you get Easter. Easter. Uh, Isis. What are, what's the other names? Hathor. Uh, Artemis. Diana, uh, uh, oh yeah, Frey, Freya, Freya, Aphrodite, all that, rolled in one, that's Mary, that's the God of the Catholic Church. They worship. So that's who the Statue of Liberty is then, huh? Yeah, she looks real manly, just like Diana. That's where Wonder, Wonder Woman comes from. What's Wonder Woman's real name in the comic book? Diana. That goes back to the goddess Diana. Oh yeah, cause I was just thinking, I was just, I just watched that new Justice League movie. That's bad. Uh, war. Justice League War. Yeah. That's pretty bad, ain't it? Yeah, that's bad. Ass. Cussing and everything. Yeah, they was all kind of cussing. <laughs> my kids was watching. My sons was watching, and they was like, Anime. I like the art. They was like, Dad, he just said, he just said, damn. <laughs> yeah. He's like, these guys are cussing. Yeah, I like the art. The how they drew them. I like how they, yeah. I like the art. Yeah, they was drawing nice nicely, wasn't they? Real. Diana was. They cool. had dark side was the baddest. Oh in the God, movie. damn, it was bad. They should have had dark side wins. Ass, what, yeah. Ass. Dark side should have whooped everyone's ass. Yeah, yeah. Here you go. How y'all like this This is bad scripture right here. Okay, this is Psalms uh, 78 and 49. He cast upon them the fierceness of his anger, wrath, and indignation, and trouble by sending evil angels among them. Man. <laughs> That's a messenger, too. You know, you know, angel means messenger. Come from a Greek word, agalos. Okay. <laughs> well, you know, you, you know, you know, even the devil has angels too. Yep. You know what I mean? You can read about the devil and his angels in the book of, uh, well, the devil Esau has angels. You know what I mean? Because you know Esau is the devil, and you know he has his angels. 